This country has the world's only drive-in volcano. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring St. Lucia, a stunning Caribbean island known for its natural beauty and vibrant culture. Nestled in the Eastern Caribbean, St. Lucia boasts lush rainforests, majestic mountains, and pristine beaches that attract visitors from around the globe. Stay with us until the end to uncover more fascinating facts and experiences that make St. Lucia a true Caribbean gem. St. Lucia is a sovereign island country in the West Indies in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. The island is located north of the islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, northwest of Barbados and south of Martinique. The geography of St. Lucia is volcanic in origin and mountainous with dense forests. The highest point is Mount Gimi at 950 meters above sea level. Two volcanic spires called the Pitons rise dramatically from the sea on the western coast near the town of Soufrière. St. Lucia has a tropical climate moderated by northeast trade winds. There is a dry season from January to April and a rainy season from May to August when hurricanes are a threat. The island's natural harbour is at Castries on the northwestern coast. Other major towns include Gros Islet, Vieux Fort and Soufrière. The eastern coast has long sandy beaches, while the western coast has more sheltered coves. The World Bank estimates that around 179,000 people reside in St. Lucia. Its population is predominantly of African descent, estimated to be around 85% of the population. They descended from slaves brought to work on European plantations during colonial times. There are also minority groups of mixed African-European ancestry, as well as small numbers of Indians, Syrians and Lebanese. The official language is English, a remnant of British colonial rule. However, most St. Lucians also speak a French-based Creole language called Patois. Standard French is also fairly widely spoken as a second language due to the island's history of competing British and French claims. About 70% of St. Lucians are Roman Catholics, reflecting the legacy of French influence. Another 20% belong to Protestant denominations, including Anglican, Methodist, Baptist and Seventh-day Adventist churches. Smaller groups follow other faiths, such as Rastafarianism, Hinduism and Islam. The island nation of St. Lucia has a unique and mouth-watering cuisine influenced by its history and multicultural heritage. A hearty pork and chicken soup, bouillon is the national dish of St. Lucia. This flavorful broth contains meat or fish, tubers like yam and potato, vegetables like chocho and spinach, and dumplings, slow-cooked and infused with local herbs and spices, it's the ultimate comfort food. Lambi is conch marinated in lime, garlic and green peppers and then cooked in its shell. This seafood specialty has a chewy texture and savory lemon zest flavor. It's a Creole dish reflecting St. Lucia's fishing culture and French influences. These crispy, fritter-like snacks are made from salted codfish, flour and herbs shaped into balls or patties and fried until golden brown, Accra make a tasty appetizer. The dish has roots in West African and Caribbean cooking. Fry bakes are St. Lucia's version of fried dough bread. Flour, baking powder, salt and shortening are combined to form dense chewy bakes that puff up when fried. These carb-loaded treats are perfect for breakfast or snacking any time. The island of St. Lucia was originally inhabited by Arawak and Carib Native American groups. The first European sighting was by the Spanish in 1502. In the early 1600s, the French made the first European settlement attempts, battling the Caribs. St. Lucia changed hands frequently between the French and British in the 17th and 18th centuries, 
The British gained final control in 1814 after the Napoleonic Wars. St. Lucia was an important sugar-producing colony during this time, relying heavily on African slave labor on plantations. Slavery was abolished in 1834. Afterward, St. Lucia's economy declined as sugar markets crashed. The island experimented with various crops before turning to banana production in the late 19th century. St. Lucia became an associated state of the West Indies Federation in 1958. The Federation collapsed in 1962 and St. Lucia became a self-governing state. Full independence was achieved in 1979 with St. Lucia becoming a Commonwealth member. Politically, St. Lucia has been relatively stable. The United Workers' Party and the St. Lucia Labour Party have predominantly held power since independence. Tourism, manufacturing and offshore banking are now important parts of the economy alongside banana exports. St. Lucia has transitioned from an agrarian economy based on banana production to a more diversified, service-based economy. The country has a relatively high GDP per capita compared to other Caribbean nations. The World Bank estimates that its GDP is around $2.3 billion as of 2023. Historically, banana production was a major part of St. Lucia's economy and a dominant export crop. However, banana revenues declined in the 1990s due to reduced European Union trade preferences and competition. Today, bananas account for a small fraction of exports. Many former banana farms have been converted to tourism facilities. Tourism is now the main economic driver, accounting for over 60% of GDP. St. Lucia attracts roughly 350,000 visitors annually, drawn by its natural beauty and luxury resorts. Major tourist sites include the Pitons, drive-in volcano, botanical gardens and historic French colonial architecture. St. Lucia has a small manufacturing sector focused on food processing, beverages, cement, furniture and electronics assembly. The services sector accounts for over 60% of the workforce. Major service activities include banking and financial services, especially offshore banking, and incorporation of foreign entities. St. Lucia has benefited from foreign direct investment in its tourism industry. The country also has preferential access to EU and US markets for certain goods under trade agreements. Main export partners are the US, UK and CARICOM nations. Imports come mostly from the US and Brazil. The island nation of St. Lucia has a vibrant and diverse culture, influenced by its blend of African, French and British heritage. St. Lucians love any excuse to celebrate, and the island has many lively annual festivals and events. Now we'll highlight some of the top festivals in St. Lucia's. Held every October 28th, this lively festival celebrates St. Lucia's French-based Creole heritage. The event features Creole food, music, dance performances and traditions. Locals dress up in the colorful Madras costumes of their African ancestors. There are also speeches and celebrations promoting the Creole language. Established in 1992, this major international jazz festival takes place every May. Local and foreign musicians perform jazz, R&B, calypso and reggae at venues across the island. The event also encompasses art exhibitions, craft markets and Creole food fairs. St. Lucia's Carnival kickstarts in May and culminates on the Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. Inspired by Trinidad's carnival, this two-day street party features exuberant parades, steel pan music competitions, calypso shows, and a vibrant Jouvert morning celebration. These festivals offer visitors a taste of St. Lucia's incredible culture. The celebrations showcase the island's French, African, Caribbean, and colonial influences through food, music, dance and heritage. 
If you enjoyed this video on St. Lucia, you'll love this next one.